Welcome back YouTubers. Today we will learn how we can install Laravel 5 on Windows Machine. Now with Composer it's really easy to get started with Laravel 5 and you know what PHP Artisan makes it just super easy to play around and play with Laravel and Laravel 5 is really awesome. Now anyway so let's get started and let's see how we can install Laravel 5 with Composer in Windows. In my case I'm running Windows 7 but I think it should be worked the same way on uh, Windows 8 or 8.1 or even 10. I don't know, but it should be worked anyway. So, okay, so let's begin now. Uh, before we're gonna start, there is some prerequisite that you have to install the Composer in your Windows OS. Okay, now it's pretty easy to install Composer. Nothing that much really uh, complex things going on in order to install the Composer. Well, all you have to do is just to go to the getcomposer.org and then press the download button. Okay, so now there is a Windows installer, and I'm not gonna show you guys how we can install because it's just a pretty much uh, the next, next, next. You have to click through the next buttons there, and nothing really fancy. But one more thing to mention that there, when you install the composer, there will be an option that would be ask you like. Do you want or something like add composer options in the Windows context menu and make sure you choose that option because it will make the process much more simpler and easier. For example, uh, there I have the composer in it, composer options, and use composer here. These three options here. So when installing composer, if you if you choose the option like uh, add composer menus to the context uh, menu, something like that. I cannot remember exactly what was written there. But if you choose that option, that will make Composer uh, reachable from your any from your right click, okay? From the right click pull down options. So anyway, so uh, just download the Composer and install it on your system. It's super easy to do, and Composer will automatically add Composer into the Windows system variables. So you don't have to do anything in order, in order to get Composer on your command prompt. So now that we got installed Composer in our Windows OS, now all we have to do is just fire up the command prompt on your Windows. Okay, so open the terminal. I'm sorry, not terminal, but command prompt. <laughs> okay, so command prompt. Okay, you can do what? You can press the Windows button, or you can press the Start menu, and there you can search for command prompt. In short, you can type CMD. Um, my Windows is in, is on the second monitor, so I cannot show you guys, but I know I believe that you can open the command prompt. Okay, have my command prompt up here. So it's the super excited Laravel 5 new website. Uh, they redesigned the website and it's super cool. Okay, so now that we got our uh, command prompt, and um, first of all, make sure my composer is up and running. How we can do? We can do something like composer. Even if I press enter, it will get all the composer options and the help help methods, the arguments, something like that. So yeah, my composer is up and running. And now what I can do is okay. So now let's go into my uh, desktop. Okay, let's go into my desktop. Uh, okay, now I'm already into the users and into my user name. But I want to show you guys from the very scratch. So uh, as uh, so, all you have to do if you're not familiar with command prompt commands, then uh, just follow me along. So first of all, type cd and then give a space and then a slash. That will let you in the very root directory of your OS. So now you have to go to your desktop. Okay. Now uh, I will install Laravel on my desktop because we have PHP Audition on Laravel. But if PHP Audition uh, doesn't work for you, then you can install Laravel in your desktop and then you can just copy paste into your web server maybe your local server WAMP server directory and then you can just uh, go into that doesn't really matter so right now I'm on my very root directory and now let me go into my desktop so I'm gonna go ahead and type cd user users and then my username of my computer give a forward slash okay and then I need to want to go into my desktop and then yeah right now I'm on my desktop okay and now I want to install the Laravel right up here now there is a few ways that you can install Laravel 5 using the composer for example you can go into the packages.org and you can grab the latest copy 
uh, you, you, you can create some JSON file but I'm not gonna do that way but that is also super handy okay we will just install Laravel using a very single using a single command okay first thing first composer and then create project and then Laravel slash Laravel okay and then dash dash prefer DIST what it does it will download the Laravel and all the dependencies of the Laravel and it will do all the stuff for you but it will take a few minutes so it depends kinda on your internet connection as well so I will go ahead and press enter and let's see what happens so I'll pause the video and I'll be come back once it completes or it shows any messages for you guys oh yeah there is a message uh, as you can see it creates a Laravel folder on my desktop that's what we need to do okay let it go now it's installing all the dependencies for example the PHP unit and the uh, more often the Symfony framework because Laravel depends on the Symfony framework and it will go ahead and install all of those beautiful okay so now as you can see guys all have been done and Laravel has been installed successfully and yeah so pretty much that everything we are going to have once we install the Laravel so um, okay okay so now let's see what's into the folder okay so yeah there's a lot of file there's a composer file and we have the PHP artisan and okay now here's our public folder now we'll do stuff right here okay so okay now let's see how we can serve the Laravel from here okay now as you're already into the desktop so I need to want to go into the Laravel folder so I would press CD and space the Laravel and press enter so now I'm into the Laravel folder okay so now just press PHP and then artisan serve okay now press enter and there we go now on the localhost 8000 we have Laravel 5 installed I will copy this URL and I will so now into my browser if I go into that at ad custom address localhost colon 8000 uh, localhost colon 8000 now some people want to say well <laughs> instead of zero but anyway so yeah press enter and there we go here is our Laravel 5 a fresh installation of Laravel 5 so now if you guys wonder uh, how to make things work like the controller uh, models and the views I I think in future video casts I can I may cover all of those in one one by another okay so this is how we can install Laravel 5 very simply in our Windows machine and so if you guys have any Comments, any thoughts about this video, and if you guys has any um, kind of like ideas, you can always tweet me in my Twitter account, me on the Facebook as well. Now I'm Hassan. Thank you for watching this video.